What's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm finally back with another dance combo tutorial. I'm so excited. I know it's been a while since I posted one of these and you guys absolutely love them. And I'm sorry I haven't posted one in a while. I've been really busy lately. Dance finally got back for me. I'm finally allowed to go back to my studio. And I've been really busy um, working on just dancing, like on my own for myself, trying to really develop my style and gain some confidence in my choreo. And now I feel like I've taken that time to work on myself. Um, now I am back and I'm ready to teach you guys again and share with you um, my choreography and I'm so excited I can't wait to see you guys do this by the way thank you so much to everyone who's been sending me videos of them doing my choreography there's so many I'm still not caught up with all of them I look forward to it when I do it so I try to set it apart some time to do that because it can be overwhelming at times because there's a lot of DMs but the videos I've seen of you guys you're all so amazing and so talented and just the fact that people are learning my dances and like sending me the videos posting the videos like like, blows my mind, fills my heart. So thank you guys so much. Um, today is a beginner slash intermediate, but fit for all levels, I'd say. It is a kind of uh, contemporary fusion, but really a jazz combo, if I'm being honest. More of like a jazz fusion, so a modern take on jazz or like my style um, as a jazz dancer. And it's pretty slow, it's pretty easy. Musicality based, of course. <laughs> when do I not? And um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. I'm also be teaching this tomorrow um, live on Zoom at the Da Vinci Summer Intensive, but by the time I post this, it'll probably be too late. But yeah, I just think it's really cool. Um, some of you guys might have registered for that and have already taken my class, so that's cool. But yeah, I've been teaching like an online summer intensive and really cool stuff like that. So I'm so excited to teach you this combo and I'm gonna stop talking now. Let's just get right into it. So this combo does not travel too much and it starts dead center, hip width apart, um, head down. <laughs> I feel like I start like that all the time, but it's pretty easy. Oh my gosh, I didn't even tell you guys the song. It's called Faded by Zoo. I love Zoo. They're literally amazing, make my favorite music ever. I dance to them all the time. It's kind of like indie house-ish. Okay, so we start hips width apart, looking down, and the music goes, baby, baby. <laughs> and we're just gonna go. We're gonna look up on the uh, five, six, seven, eight, and it says baby. So it's gonna go. Down, down, baby. And you can kind of move the body with it. It's up for your interpretation. So however you want to interpret that, baby. And then there's a big in the music, and we're going to do exactly that. How did you guess? Kind of like my scared to lift combo, how we started that. Kind of like the chest push initiates the back foot. Um, so we're going to look up, baby. And then we're going to go, boom. And you're just going to come to this stepping back position and your arms gonna go all the way up. I believe there's four counts to two, three, four, da, da. There's gonna be two beats, there's gonna be and we go, baby, and boom, two, ta, ta. I'm not exactly sure on the counts, but those beats will be obvious to hear, and all you're doing is bringing your um, right arm into the chest and left arm. Then, you're gonna step onto this back foot, the weight on this foot, and the arms are gonna go down and around as you're down and around with your leg. So I guess you could say around and home, but there's not really enough time to point like that. It's more of just a stepping back. And you're going, poo, hit, hit, step back, just to this position, a little B plus kind of, I guess you could say. And your head is still front. And then there's gonna be a chuck, 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 and you're gonna go hit, hit, hit. And on that last hit, your head's gonna turn side. So, that's basically ta ta ta. And it just goes first hits out, in. Then on that last one, you're bringing this foot up into a hook position. And then you're gonna plie and straighten the arms at the same time as you turn the head side. Very fun, very fast. It gets easier. The combo gets easier, I promise. I just wanted to hit those beats in the beginning, but at the end, we're gonna be really milking it. So there's gonna be plenty of time to get the choreography and know it and move through every movement. So we start and we're like, baby, <laughs> boom, hit, hit, bound, hit inside. I'm gonna go slower on that, 
a couple more times just so you can get it down, get it in your head. Then we're gonna take it back to tempo. So that was kind of like tempo. I'm gonna slow back down really quick for you guys. Baby, go. Boom, hit, hit, around, out and up, down. All right, so let's do that one more time, tempo, and then I'm gonna add on. So, baby, da, da, da. I'm gonna add on a little bit, and then we're gonna listen to music. From here, you gotta stay, you're gonna really have to plie to stay on that leg, so make sure you're squeezing your butt, and lean back into that as far as you can, um, that hinge position, really push those hips forward. So here, the head is gonna go one, and then your foot is gonna come out like this, and you're still gonna be in that hinge position. So you're kind of, um, from here, that, <laughs> my hips are sore, sorry. From here, you're lifting up to move with that foot as this foot comes out, like that, and your arms will stay. So not too bad, you just have to hold a one, and then you can kind of catch yourself here if you're wobbly. Then we're gonna hold this position, and there's gonna be two more beats, and we're gonna stomp, stomp, and here. So it goes, head one, come here, stomp, stomp, four starch, and bring those elbows forward. So that is basically the beginning. I'd say the hardest part of the whole combo. I think we should listen to it. I'm gonna point out the major parts and the accents and the music. Um, we're gonna listen to it a couple times. If you guys are new to my dance combos, um, I do take it kind of fast because there's some people that are more advanced than others, but I only do so because you can rewind as many times as you want. So if you're feeling lost, don't feel bad, rewind it. I would be rewinding if I was watching too because it takes me kind of a while to pick up choreo naturally. So. Let's try this music so you guys can see what it looks like. Also, if you're playing this song at home, it starts at about a minute and 10 seconds. All I want to do is take you down, down, baby. Okay, I hope you guys heard the accents that I was choosing, but all I want to do is drive home to you. So, to you. As long as you're there on to you, then you should be on track. But yeah, I really love this combo. It's very fun, very like, you have to emit confidence when you're doing like this type of jazz. So you guys out there better not be timid. If you send me those videos, I wanna see, I wanna see fierceness. Um, let's listen to it again. Baby. But I'm gonna move forward. And then there's just two little step drags, kind of groovy steps. Um, we're just gonna go arm on this leg, bring this arm up as well. So that's gonna be hit, hit, boom, boom. This arm up, this arm up, and you're gonna step forward with this foot that's in front. And as your arms are up together, you're just gonna cross drag like that and press down over the shoulders and drag down like that and you're gonna catch yourself in an inverted fourth with this front arm up in a little half cradle position. So, what that looks like is we just did drive home to you, baby, boom. I'm faded, do, do, And once you get there, that does initiate the head. We just did to you. Drag in, drag in, fade it again, and then we hit this, and then the head comes. I'm gonna go ahead and move on because that's pretty easy. Um, from here, all we're gonna do is after the head comes, you're gonna bring that back arm over in a swooping position, um, back to front, and then you're gonna connect this right here in this position, and then you're gonna bring it out as you lean back more. So that just looks like boom, boom, arm back, and then from here, you're going to switch the wrist that's on top, so the bottom one's going to come up as you bring it in a circle this way and lean that way, switching from four starch to kind of like a tongue position. And that arm that is going this way, you're going to follow it behind to tuck in that back arm. So we're like this. And you're going to tuck, and then you're going to step forward on this front foot, just in kind of like this leaning position, and this arm is going to wave over the top. Big, wide hand energy. Boom. 
So it basically looks like land, head, up, press, through, and through. And yeah, that part's very slow. Um, I think we should listen to it. I'm gonna try the whole thing from the top so you can see the musicality of it, but it's pretty easy. Um, that part does slow down a little bit so you can make those. Um, I really want a lot of energy in those circles. So I'm going for those circular patterns. So um, make sure you really listen, slow down for that part. Baby. Step and touch, step and cross here, 
kick it and up. Then from here, we're going to be turning this way. This is kind of a prep for a half turn initiated by your head. It's going to go back to this corner, down and back. You're here, boom, boom. Your head's going to roll to here. You're going to force starch again. Um, your butt should be forward. Your hips should be parallel with this wall. And it says faded again, and you're going to jump faded like that. You can use the arm or you can just jump faded and just like lean into it. It's more of a stylistic moment. Nothing super specific with this arm. Just flows if you want to flow. Bubba, I'm busy. <laughs> Bubba, I can't pet you right now, baby boy. I got a dance class to teach. Okay, I guess this means water break time. Then, after we just jumped here, all you're gonna do is walk, boom, 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 boom. And that's your own group. All you're gonna do is step front, front, side, and side. And you're just kind of, on those last two, you're slowing it down and dragging those feet behind you. It doesn't have to be like technical. We are so close to being done, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish it up really quick. Let's go from here. We just did here, hit, ba, da, da, hit, foo, and breathe, and up, and over, click, and groove, and groove, hit, and step, and shoulder, step, and cross, boom, to you, baby, shoo, I'm faded, all I wanna do is da, 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 on that last da, da, you're dragging that front foot in, there's another burst in the music, just like the beginning, you're going to be stepping back into this position and the arms are going to scoop in this flex press position back. So you're going to go boo do do do. So we just did fade it, boom, head roll, jump, land. Da 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 so you scoop up, looking side, to lean back. Then your head comes up and over again, or your head goes forward as you press to straight, and then you drop the wrists and lean back again. And then we're gonna change this to a forced arch as it goes da 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 da, and that's on the second da 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 da. So your arms just coming from here, circling, circling, look side again. Just did walk, walk walk and drag your back foot and drag your front foot and scoop two three four two two da 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 look and front and up so we are here now um the hands are like this the hands are crossed over like that we're here we go head then we go up so it's a parallel releve and your arms are coming up to this box position. Make sure you really press those shoulders down and lift that chin up. And then you're just gonna drop down to this good old here. And you can get deeper if you want. My hips are tight, especially today, I'm so sore. But boom. And then you can pull through to the side or whatever you wanna do on that last little shoot. And that is the entire combo, guys. Woo, let's go. So that was a pretty simple combo. Um, not too long, not too fast, not too hard. Um, if you are struggling with it though, um, the one thing that will help you is just listening, listening, listening. Because I know I don't count good, I'm sorry. But for me, it's easier to think click in my head than think seven, eight. So that's just what I do, that's how I teach. Let's do the whole thing without music from the beginning. And then I'll add the music. We can listen, and then I'll show you guys me doing it full out. So, yeah, let's go. So we start, baby. Boom, click, click, down and around. Out and lean. Head, foot, tap, tap, elbows. Drag in, drag in, and press drag, and scoop, head. Up and around, back. Through, up and over, windmill, click, and group, and group, tap and shoulder, and shoulder, tap, boom, to you, baby, 
up and around, faded. Make sure you really point your toes on that part also. The more you plie on the first one, the more you can get up to that position um, for the second. There we go. Step, step, boom, da, 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 da. Scoot, do, 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 boom, boom, and circle, and circle. Head up, down. And you can either stay there and boom, or you can come through. There's another release in the music. Do whatever you want there. I'd love to see some improv at the end if you guys are in the mood. I would love to see that in the videos. Let's try it from the top. I'm gonna mark it. Then I'll show you guys the full out, and that'll be it. Don't touch, baby.